Hi guys, we're ready to do our tutorial on the Premier Textured Wave Throw. And I just wanted to show you again how the blanket came out in this variegated. And this is the Red Heart Ombre. Super Saver Ombre. And you can see this would be a perfect blanket. And I think you would need about three skeins of this Red Heart Ombre if you're going to do it like I did it. But you could do this pattern in any kind of yarn. Um, but you want to do something where it would, uh, you can appreciate the texture. Okay. Now, so here we're, we're going to start our tutorial. And I wrote some notes on the pattern. And you guys know that when I do a tutorial, I also teach you how to read the pattern. And I've made some notes here. Now, this pattern originally called for um, the Premier Yarns Couture Home. And you, of course, could do it in that. But I wanted to do it in number four weight. <clears throat> so what I did was I believe I chained approximately 158. But my recommendation is that you do uh, 28 plus 4. Because if they're seen to do it in multiples of 14 plus 18. So you could do um, 28 and see how long that is, and then do 28 more and 28 more, because that's how Mikey does it from the crochet crowd. He just keeps going, and then at the end, you would go ahead and do four chains, because in row one, you double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So that's why it says 18. So do multiples of 28, and then when you get the blanket as wide as you think you want it, um, add four more chains. Now, also you could do a little bit more just in case, and then you can always undo the chain. And I've showed you that I've done that on a couple blankets. If the blanket, can, after the first row, seems way too long or wide, okay? So, I did, I'm going to do a swatch, because I already made my blanket, and I want to move on to other patterns, so I'm not going to start a whole blanket, but I decided that I would do a swatch of 56, which is 28 and 28, and then the 4. So, I already made my chain of 56 plus 4. And I'm using this yarn here. It's kind of a, a blue-gray, but of course it's coming out more gray here. And this was some yarn that I picked up at a yard sale. And it didn't have a label. So I'm not really sure what it is, but I know it's 100% acrylic and it's a number four. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our pattern. Now I already said that in row one, we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain in the hook, from the hook. <laughs> then the next step is to double crochet in each of the next three chains. So to me, that looks like we're going to end up with five double crochets, but we'll do it as we go along. So here we go. And it's awkward for me here doing this around the camera. So I'm going to do my best to stay in the frame. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. We're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And oh, I'm also using an eye hook. So I've got worsted weight number four with an eye hook. So I double crocheted in the fourth chain from the hook. Next, I want to do 
a double crochet in each of the next three. Okay, so now I'm going to double crochet in each of the next three. So, one, two, and three. Okay. So technically, I have five double crochets. So, but really what it is, is I have two and then three is how this pattern works. Because at the end of the row, you have two double crochets. Okay, so we have done our three double crochets. Now it says to skip three chains and do a V stitch. Now over here, the V stitch says that it is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the indicated stitch or space. Okay, so now we're going to skip three spaces. So that's one, two, three, and in this stitch here, we're going to do a double crochet. So I lost my little loop. So one, here's that stitch, one, two, three, and in this stitch we're going to do the V stitch, which we already determined is a double chain one double all in the same stitch okay I made my first V stitch now the pattern says skip the next three stitches and double crochet in each of the next three stitches and see there's a comma so I'm going to stop right there Okay, so I'm going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and I'm going to do three double crochets. Three double crochets in the next three stitches. Okay. Now let's take a look at the pattern. Now you can see there's two asterisks there. Those two asterisks we're going to skip until the end of the row. So we're going to pretend that they're not there, but we're using the comma. So we just skip three stitches. We double crochet in each of the next three, and we're going to do three double crochets in the next stitch. And then after that, we're going to proceed. So we're going to do three double crochets in this stitch right here, and we're not going to let those asterisks bother us until we see them again. Okay, we're following just one. The two is for later in the row. Okay, so I've got three double crochets in the same stitch. And now it says, <clears throat> excuse me, to repeat from the one asterisk across. So we're not going to finish reading. We're going to stop at that comma. So we're going to go back up here, and we're going to do a, a double crochet in each of the next three chains. Okay, 
So three double crochets. You got to do that one right next door. Make sure it's right next door. And we're going to do three double, one double crochet in each of the next three. Okay, let me, doing my best here, you guys, <laughs> around this camera, because I don't have a nice setup like everyone else. Um... Okay, so there we have three double crochets and then three in one stitch and then three. Okay, back to the pattern. It says skip the next three chains and do a V stitch. And if you need to put a piece of paper here so you can follow it or any kind of marker, that's what you need to do. Okay, skip the next three chains and do a V-stitch in the next chain, and there's a comma, so I'm going to stop. Okay, one, two, three, and we're going to do a V-stitch, and a V-stitch is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, after the V stitch, it says to skip three stitches and double and then do a double crochet in each of the next three. So we did our V stitch, skip the next three stitches and double crochet in each of the next three chains. And we're going to ignore these two dots. Okay. So one, two, three, we're going to do three double crochets, one in each of the next three stitches. Okay. And then our pattern says to three double crochets in the next stitch. And then it says, let me get it, <laughs> I guess I'm trying to hold too many things at once. Okay, so we did the three double crochets in the next stitch. It says repeat from the asterisk, so we go back up here, and it says double crochet in each of the next three chains. Okay, so there's our three. So we're going to go one, two, in these three here, we're going to do double crochets. One. Two. And three. Okay, so we just did our three double crochets. And then we're going to skip the next three and do a V-stitch. So right there it is. So we're going to skip one, two, and three. We're going to do a V-stitch right over here. So there's our V-stitch, and the pattern says to skip the next three stitches 
and double crochet in each of the next three chains okay so there's our V stitch so we're going to skip one two three and we're going to do three double crochets one two and three and then we're going to go three double crochets in the next chain and then we're going to repeat from up here so I'm going to meet you back when we get towards the end of the row okay so I did this last V stitch right there and then I'm going to skip the next three and I'm going to double crochet in each of the next three chains okay so because you can see what I have left here so one two three and then I'm going to do three double crochets here one two and three and you can see I have one stitch left okay <clears throat> and so then after I did these here I'm gonna skip all the way down to here that's when those two asterisks matter and it says to do two double crochets in the last chain and turn okay now I'm gonna go ahead and do two double crochets in this and then we're gonna talk about what we have okay so that's the end of row one now, now let's say you were doing this and you got to the end and you didn't come out exactly right with this what you can do is you can leave some straggling stitches here that you can un uh, chain I call it or you know or pull them out and then you would uh, fasten it off here so it wouldn't continue to un wind or whatever ravel but it's not an exact science I mean I came out right and if you were chaining and you did the 28 and then added four maybe you came out right but that's part of learning how to read a pattern and how to um, fudge it for the number of stitches or the width of the blanket you want to do now that's now <laughs> goes fleeing across the table okay so now we're going to take a look at our work so it looks like we have two chain two double crochets at each end okay so we know that two double crochets at each end then we have three doubles we skip three stitches we do a V stitch, skip three stitches, and then we have three doubles, three doubles in one stitch, three doubles. Skip three, we have a V stitch, three chains we skipped, three doubles. You guys got the idea. So this is the first row. So take some time and visually go back over this and make sure that it looks like it's supposed to look now i'm going to go ahead with row two there's not going to be um you know any more chains it's all going to be 
um, yeah, there is going to be chains because we're going to do a cluster in our V stitches. Okay, so I got my hook here. I'm trying to get my seat a little more comfortable. <laughs> we're going to do the pattern rows two and three. Okay, now I like to do my chain before I turn. So it says here to for row two to chain three and it counts here as a double crochet because if you remember we have two doubles in each end okay and then we're going to double crochet in the same stitch and i'm going to show you what that looks like in case you have issues with that so we're going to chain three two and three we're going to turn our work or at least that's how i do it now it says in the same stitch so that means that it goes right in here this is the same stitch okay goes right in here because that's the same stitch it goes right in here if it because we need two in the same one all right so if you wanted to you could put a stitch marker right here because we're going to be double crocheting in the top of the chain three if you want it doesn't matter now it says to skip the next double crochet there you go so the next double crochet is this one then it says to do a front post double crochet around each of the next three stitches a front post double crochet is a yarn over insert the hook from front to back around the stitch so we're going to yarn over we're skipping this stitch and we're going to go around these three so we yarn over we go in the front around the back and come back out so that stitch we're doing it around the post the front post double crochet okay so we yarn over and we pull it through pull through two pull through two and you're going to get to see that two more times <laughs> and i'm sorry for positioning my yarn okay yarn over insert the hook from the front around the back yarn over pull through and do a double crochet i'm going to do it one more time we're going to yarn over insert the hook between those two stitches behind and out the other side yarn over pull through two pull through two and see so you can see that the stitch is around the post of the previous one and you should have three stitches back here that you actually skipped okay now we're going to do a shell so let's take a look at this and it says we did the front post double crochets around each of the next three stitches and i stop i don't try to read the whole thing together there's a comma that's a breathing spot next we're going to do a shell in the chain one space of the v stitch so i'm going to show you that now over here is where it says shell what is a shell a shell is a double crochet chain one double crochet four times in the indicated stitch or space now that sounds real complicated but we go through the steps do the comma Take a rest and do it again. So here we go. In the V stitch, 
chain once in that space. So that means you go in the space, not in the chain, but in the space. So it says first thing to do a double crochet. So I'm doing a double crochet. I'm taking a break after I do my double crochet. Next, it says to do a chain one double crochet four times. So chain one double crochet. And you can count that as number one. Chain one double crochet. Two, chain one, double crochet, chain one, that was number three, double crochet, and it said four times. I hope my husband's TV is not too loud. So technically, we have our double crochet. Then we have one, two, three, four. So that gives us a shell of five with the chains in between. Okay, so we made our shell in the chain space of the V stitch. Now we have to do front post double crochets around each of the next three stitches. Stop. Okay. Don't read the whole thing. Everybody reads the whole thing and they get overwhelmed. Just stop with the commas. Now, it pattern does not say to skip this stitch. That's what I meant about this pattern. It's an intermediate pattern, so it doesn't tell you every single step. So we're going to skip this and we're going to go right over here and do a front post double crochet around these three. Okay. So that's what is the difference between an easy pattern and an intermediate pattern, okay? Because you're skipping that second leg of the V-stitch. I call these legs. But the pattern doesn't spell out skip it, okay? Now, the next thing the pattern says Okay, where am I? Right here. It says front post around each of the next three stitches. Oh, okay. Front post around each of the next three stitches. We did that. Then it says to skip the double crochet. We're not going to do the two dots right here. The two dots are skipped until the end of the row. We're going to skip one double crochet and then we're going to double crochet three doubles in the top of the next stitch. So if we look at our work, this is where we have those three double crochets. So it says to skip this first one, and in the center one, we're going to do three double crochets. Okay. Then it says to repeat from the asterisk. So that means we're going up here to do three front post double crochets. Now, what you have to do is skip this stitch. 
Again, this is an inter intermediate pattern, so it's not telling you every single step. So we're just going to do these three doubles. We're going to skip this stitch and go way over here and do our three front post doubles. So remember, yarn over, insert it between the stitches, come back around, yarn over, and complete your double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, and complete your double crochet. So see what we have? We have front post, three doubles, front post. Okay, so here's where you are in our pattern, is we did the three front post doubles around the stitch and now we're ready to do a shell in the chain space of the V stitch. So we're going to skip over here to the chain space, yarn over and do a shell. So the shell is a double crochet and then chain one, double crochet four times. So chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and see when I do it, I keep going until I have five of these. So at this point I have one, two, three, four. So I need to chain one and do my fifth double crochet. Okay, so there's my shell. So shell, then a front post around the next three. So we're skipping this leg of the V stitch and going over here and doing the front post around these three. Oh, sorry if I'm out of camera range. All right, so there's our three front post. Now it says to skip the next stitch and do three doubles in the next stitch. So we're skipping this one. We're going to do three doubles in the center stitch of this cluster or whatever you guys want to call it. And so I'm going to meet you back when we get towards the end. Okay, so I did my shell. And now I'm on my last shell. So now I'm going to be using these two double asterisks to go down to these two double crochets. So I did my shell and now I need to do three front post double crochets. See there's my last shell and I'm going to skip this leg of that V stitch and go over here and do my three front post double crochets and I need some more yarn. Okay so I'm going to do a front post double right here. And another front post double so I have my last three okay 
so I did the shell and then I did the three front post doubles then it says to um, skip the next double which would be this double right here and then it says to do two double crochets in the last stitch okay so we're going to skip the next double and we're going to go to the ask two asterisk and we're going to do two double crochets in the last stitch okay so we're skipping this double and in the top of this double crochet because see there's the full double we're going to poke in that hole where I said we could have put a stitch marker and do two double crochets there you go that's the end of row two Okay, so now we're ready for row three. And row two and three are our repeat rows. Now it says to chain three and then double crochet in the same stitch. So I'm gonna do my chain three and turn my work. and do a double crochet in the same stitch, which is right here. And if you wanted to, you could put a stitch marker in the top of your chain three, which would be right here. This is the first double, but in here's where we're gonna do our two doubles at the end of the row four. Okay, but not as long as you get it in there. Now, let's read the pattern. Let's get it going here. All right, let me hold this better. Okay, it says double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So let's stop. So, we're skipping this stitch. Did it say to do that? No, see, that's what I'm saying. These intermediate patterns do not tell you every stitch to skip. So down here it says, I wrote, skip next double crochet, which is right here. So, so if you look at this, you're going to be doing double crochets in the top of these three. So we're skipping this. So that's what's a problem with these intermediate patterns is they don't tell you every single thing to skip is what I found okay so because we want to do a double crochet in each one of these three we're skipping that one we're doing a double crochet in this one and a double crochet in this one okay now if you turn your work you'll see that you are actually doing a double crochet in each one of these front posts okay See, there's your front post, front post, front post. But if that just, you know, get, keeps you on track. Now, the pattern says to do a V stitch in the center double crochet of the next shell. Now, the pattern does not say that you have to skip these. So you have to do it yourself one two and then this is the center one so you have to follow it and it wants you to do a V stitch in the top of that 
third double crochet. So to me that's is in this case is what's making this an intermediate pattern because it's not coming right out and saying skip the next two double crochets. Okay? But then other places it tells you, okay? So here it says to skip the next three, but I wrote two there. And then a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So let's see what happens and why I wrote a two there. Okay, so it says the next three. So here's double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, and then here you're into these three. So that's why I wrote a two there. <laughs> This is not easy. Okay, now I'm going to double crochet in the top of these next three, like we did oh, last time. One, two, and three. Okay. Then, so I changed that three to a two. <laughs> then double crochet in each of the next three stitches. We just did that. The first, until the end, you do not use these two asterisks. Now it says to do three double crochets in the next stitch. But, you're skipping this stitch because you're doing three double crochets in the top of the center. It's, it's so hard, okay? So without actually seeing this done, it can be very difficult. So you're skipping one double crochet and doing three double crochets in the top or center of these three. So hopefully, <laughs> and everything's getting twisted around here, so let me reset up. So hopefully you guys can appreciate <laughs> this tutorial. And I really hope that you guys make this blanket because it's a very nice blanket. And post it on my Facebook page. Okay, so we did three double crochets in the next stitch. And see, it does not say skip the next stitch. It says to go up here and double crochet in each of the next three stitches. See, we're skipping this stitch here, and we're going to double crochet in these. So, it this pattern takes for granted a lot of stuff, and I guess that's why it's an intermediate, which I've said probably 15 times. Okay. So there's our three doubles, and that's our repeat. So now we're going to do a V-stitch in the center of center double crochet of the next shell. Okay, so one, two, and here it is. It doesn't say to skip two <laughs> double crochets. I know. I hope you guys are getting this. And I hope I'm not out of camera range. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to skip two doubles and go down to these three. And we're going to do three double crochets.
and see what you have. Now over here, we're going to skip this stitch and do three double crochets in the top of this double crochet. going to skip this stitch here and we're going to do a double crochet in the top each one of these so that's three excuse me one Now we're going to skip these two and in the top of this double crochet we're going to do a V stitch. Now the last two rows are the repeat rows. This row and the row before, row two and three. And basically what I do after I master what's going on is I just let the stitches tell me what I'm supposed to do because you'll memorize the the pattern and if you look at this okay we're gonna skip these two and then over here we're gonna do a double crochet in each one of these we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna do three in this we're gonna skip this one and do these three and then we're gonna do our V stitch and I'll meet you back to close out the row. Okay, so I did my final V stitch and then I double crocheted in each of the next three stitches. Now I'm going to skip down to the asterisk and I'm going to do two double crochets in the last stitch. So see I did my V stitch, my three, and it doesn't say to skip this stitch, but you're supposed to. And you come over here in the top of your chain three and you do two double crochets because you have two double crochets at the end and beginning of each row. Chain three and turn. So now you're going to do row two as a repeat, which is your row that has the front post doubles. Okay. So here's what it looks like. So you have one row that has V stitches, you have one row that has shells, the next row has V stitches so that you can make a shell in the next one. On the front side row you have front post double crochets. Chain your three doubles front post you skip those two and do your V stitch on the wrong side row you just do the double crochets in the top of the doubles okay so your wrong side row does the V stitches your right side row does the shells okay now, you guys replay the video as needed. This pattern does not have a border. Okay. You end on a wrong side row so that you have 
a straight edge on the other side of your blanket on the other edge and there's no border on the sides your two double crochets on each end are I guess technically your border okay and so that is this blanket hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions just let me know but that is the premier textured wave throw in the intermediate level and now you understand the difference between a easy and an intermediate they might not tell you every single step so bye guys i hope you like the video bye